Hello boys and girls. Today's story is about Philemon. This map shows us Paul's journey to Rome. He actually was shipwrecked on the island of Malta in the middle of the great sea called the Mediterranean Sea. And they got another boat up to Italy. Three days after we got to Rome, Paul writes, they called together the Jewish leaders and said, My friends, I have never done anything to hurt our people, and I have not gone against the customs of our ancestors. But in Jerusalem, I was handed over as a prisoner to the Romans. They looked into the charges against me and wanted to release me. The Jewish leaders disagreed. So I asked to be tried by the emperor. Paul said, You may be sure that God wants to save the Gentiles, and they will listen. For two years, Paul stayed in a rented house and welcomed everyone who came to see him. The centurion made sure that he stayed there. <laughs> He bravely preached about God's kingdom and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. And no one tried to stop him. One of those visitors was a runaway slave called Onesimus. Paul told Onesimus about Jesus and his power to forgive our sins and mistakes. Onesimus believed and asked Jesus to forgive him his sins and mistakes. He helped Paul by going to the markets where he bought food for Paul and his friends. See, Paul wasn't allowed to leave the house. One day, Onesimus told Paul he had run away from his owner, Philemon. Paul said he had told Philemon about Jesus and he was now a Christian. He offered to write to Philemon and asked him to forgive Onesimus his mistake. The fate of a runaway slave was often death, so this took courage for Onesimus. Paul wrote to Philemon, From Paul, who is in jail for serving Jesus Christ, and from Timothy, who is like a brother because of our faith. Philemon, you worked with us, and you are very dear to us. My friend, your love has made me happy and has greatly encouraged me. It has also cheered the hearts of God's people. I beg you to help Onesimus. He's like a son to me because I led him to Christ here in jail. Before this, he was useless to you, but now he is useful both to you and to me. Sending Onesimus back to you makes me very sad. Perhaps Onesimus was taken from you for a little while so that you could have him back for good, but not as a slave. Onesimus is much more than a slave. To me he is a dear friend, but to you he is even more, both as a person and as a follower of the Lord. If you consider me a friend because of Christ, then welcome Onesimus as you would welcome me. My dear friend and follower of Christ our Lord, please cheer me up by doing this for me. I am sure you will do all I have asked and more. Paul asked Onesimus to deliver the letter to Philemon. He read it and forgave Onesimus. Wasn't that good of him? Paul finished his letter to Philemon with these words. I pray that the Lord Jesus will be kind to you. We need to be kind to each other and forgive ourselves and others of our mistakes. We can change just like Onesimus did. God bless you boys and girls.